Hi guys, quick video. I've uh, just finished up a utility room here, this address. Uh, I thought you might want to see the boiler I'm putting here because it's got something interesting about it. So this boiler here is heating all of these rooms. In here, in here, here. This annex out here. All without hydraulic separation. And that is because the entire house is only three kilowatts load. Three kilowatts is a very low amount of circulation. The system's not going to pose any resistance against flow. So it just goes to show you, rule of thumb of amount of rooms or amount of radiators doesn't really mean anything. It's not even just kilowatts, it's pipe size in relation to kilowatts. It's the amount of flow required. Because if you need a small delta T, you're still going to need a fast flow. So there's lots of things to take into consideration and it's worth doing the calculations to see what's what before just applying random rules of thumb. That was another reason for the choice of this boiler. It's a 3 kilowatt load at minus 3. Throughout the rest of the year it's much lower. This is the only boiler that would have suited. Minimum output of 1.6 kilowatts. There's nothing else that would modulate under that load. I think the next lowest boiler is 3 kilowatts output. So it would still be an on-off boiler in this house. Uh, this is the only one that's really going to condense any sensible amount. So um, yeah, let's have a little look. This boiler here supplies all the radiators in the house, uh, warm air unit and this cylinder here all without hydraulic separation. And that's with a pump speed, max pump speed of 60%, minimum pump speed 40%. Just to show you what we've got, uh, flow to cylinder, return from cylinder, which goes via a uh, spur vent up there. Um, return from cylinder comes back, this one here goes up, flow to uh, up to a warm air heater via a balancing valve uh, and then off to radiators, a zone valve on the return leg. Um, oh, these are interesting, this is a globe valve so uh, this has got really good authority. Uh, I'll have to do another video on that, I'm not going to go into that now. Um, so, yeah, it goes off to the radiators, return from radiators via a spiral trap. Um, I've got a strainer in there just in case, uh, and just a normal return. Um, yeah, hashtag no hydraulic set.